How happy were you with your uh, first match here at Philippe Chaudrier? Well, it's a, it's a good start, of course. Uh, straight sets. Uh, that's, uh, that's it. Uh, I mean, I played good for a while, uh, then things that I, I could do better and I need to do better. But it's a, it's a positive start, and that gives me the chance to have one more day on, on practice tomorrow, uh, and then another chance after tomorrow. Let's start with the English question, as usual. Introduce yourself in the, your affiliation. First one here. Thank you. This is John Decker from iHeartRadio. Uh, Rafa, congratulations. Uh, moving on to the second round. Uh, you said that there are some areas that you wish to improve. What are the, those areas? And is this the kind of first round match that you anticipated having? I don't anticipate much, <laughs> uh, but uh, I don't know. I need to improve in all ways. I need. I think. I think. It, I need to improve my movement. Uh, uh, for moments, the the speed of my forehand, uh, the 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 average speed, I think, could be better and should be better. Uh, it's true that I did things well for a while. Was good. Uh, then uh, it's true that today the conditions were heavier than than usual here, uh, very humid the court, uh, I don't know why, uh, I don't know why the court was very humid today, having the roof uh, on for uh, a long time, but uh, yeah, I mean, happy with the with the performance, by the way, no, uh, have been a positive start, then uh, of course I, I am kind of player that I, I always uh, looking for, for something else. Uh, Looking for for uh, for the better things, and that's what I what I gonna uh, try to find uh, on my practice tomorrow and then in the next match. Gano uh, Rafa, congratulations to your win. You looked in pretty good shape, at, at least for the first one and a half sets. Um, but uh, how is your foot right now? Um, how is the injury? And um, with this injury and you only playing uh, five clay matches before Paris, how is your uh, confidence level compared to past years? Of course, the confidence is higher when you win Monte Carlo, Barcelona and uh, Madrid or Rome. Uh, without a doubt, <laughs> things are easy in this world uh, to understand. No? Uh, when you are winning more matches and more tournaments, uh, you have better confidence, the opponents uh, uh, feels that too, and at the end uh, you are more used to, to the level that you need to play to win matches. Uh, when uh, this is not the case, things are different, uh, but I, I never expected to, to be winning uh, 15 Monte Carlos and uh, Roms, so that's the situation today, I got injured, and that's it. Uh, uh, what happened <laughs> is past, and here we are, we are in Roland Garros, and I am here to try my best. And uh, uh, how is my level of confidence, how the things would be if, or if I didn't get injured, I don't know, we never know, so I am not a big fan of uh, think about the the things that could happen if the if if is a dangerous word. So uh, and then it's just the moment to accept the moment, uh, to accept the situation and to have the the, the confidence to to put all my effort in every single day uh, practice. To give better and better, and uh, let's see how far I can, I can keep going. Hi, Rafa, Jessica Lepinski, Le Journal de Montréal. Um, my question is not about today's game, um, but rather about uh, Tony, your uncle, uncle and ex-coach, who is now an advisor for Felix Auger-Liassim. 